Here are some tips for effective co-parenting. My name is Laura Hurd and I'm a family law attorney in San Antonio, Texas. I've been practicing since 1987 and co-parenting is difficult. Once you have ended a relationship with your ex-spouse or ended the relationship in which you had with the other parent, it may be that communication or failure to communicate was a big factor in the breakup of the relationship. And now you have to learn to get better at communication with someone that you are no longer with. But that is important in order to co-parent. So focus on that. Focus on your child's needs and learning how to communicate better. And you can do that with podcasts, reading, therapy. Learn how to communicate better. Number two, be consistent. Children need consistency and stability. Number three, choose your battles wisely. Don't try to have perfect children. Don't go after every little flaw that needs to be corrected. Choose what's really important. Remember that you're not going to change the parenting style of the other parent. The way that they parent may be more permissive than you or more strict than you. It's not bad for the children to have more than one perspective and to realize that there is grace and there is consequences. But just don't let the children play you against each other because children are masters at being manipulative and saying to one person what another person said and getting the parents to fight among themselves in order to get what the children want or to keep the children from having to do what they don't want to do. So don't fall into that trap. Don't let the children manipulate you. Don't let them play you against each other. Maintain a unified front. Talk to the other parent when the child cannot overhear. Reach an agreement among yourselves as parents and then be unified when you communicate with the children. Also, remember that if you tear down your spouse where your child can hear, if your child hears you insulting your ex-spouse, whether you're talking to them directly or whether they're overhearing it, that hurts them because they relate to your ex-spouse, to their other parent, as part of themselves. And if you say bad things about that other spouse, they interpret it as bad things about themselves. So don't do it. No matter how bad that spouse is, how terrible of a parent they are, don't discuss that with your children. Your children are not your confidants. They're not your therapists. They are not adults. And they are too emotionally involved in this for you to be discussing that with your children. Protect them from those emotions. Finally, remember that it is important to respect the different parenting styles. Just because maybe they are the strict parent and you are the permissive parent or vice versa, it's not a bad thing. You're not going to be perfect at this. The goal is just to keep getting better. And if that requires mediation sometimes for difficult problems or a therapist to talk things through, do it. Get the help that you need so that you can continue to be a better parent all the time. Remember, love is the most important thing. Make sure your children know that you love them. My name is Laura Hurd. For more parenting tips, watch my YouTube channel.